Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Xbank and their latest quarter results. They came out just a few minutes ago, so I'll go first through the highlights so you get the most important information as soon as possible, and then I'll go more in depth about the results, what does it mean for the company, what are some flaws and positive sides as well, because there's many of them. And last but not least, I'd like to tell you my opinion about the current development of the stock and where I see it going in this week or in this month. But before I begin, if you're interested in this information and like to see more, definitely subscribe to the channel and smash the like button because both are for free and helps me out tremendously. With that being said, let's get into the information. So as we can see on the one day chart, it's down. Obviously five days chart, nothing different. The whole market goes slightly down for the past one month. And if we check last one month, it's down 40%. And on the six month chart, we can see from its highs, $72, it's down over 60%. That's a great buying opportunity right here. And from current, from the latest highs, $56 is down 50%. So we can see it's been one big downfall. And actually, if you go into some better uh, a technical analysis uh, platform or just a casual broker, you can see that it's being now oversold. I have not seen that for like uh, last time I saw it, it was a one year ago. So this really screams for buying opportunity. Sadly, I don't have that much capital. But anyways, now to the results. If we move to the highlights of these quarter results, we can see that they missed their earnings per shares by two cents which is nothing tragic but what is more important they beat revenue their revenue was 436.99 million dollars which is over 345 percent year over year and they beat the revenue by 32.38 million dollars so that's very very good and you couldn't ask for more almost if you are a shareholder of this company their deliveries of vehicle grew 300 percent year over year to 2,900 64 units in fourth quarter deliveries of the p7 model are up 37 percent quarter to quarter to 8527 units ceo commented we spearhead innovation in china's smart ev market by pursuing end-to-end -end research and development and closed loop of data capabilities we proudly offer our customers a revolutionary in-car voice system and smart cockpit technology as well as xpilot 3.0 our self-developed full-stack autonomous driving system and we are poised to launch our leader equipped third smart EV model in the second half of 2021. Total smart EV deliveries increased 470% year over year to 6,015 units in January 2021 and expanded 1,281% year over year to 2,223 units in February 2021. However, still the company is down because market goes now down and doesn't care if it's negative news or positive news the company produces. So that's the most important information. I just told it here in a few minutes. So you're free to go if you're not interested in more in-depth but I think you're most likely losing on some important information and as well as uh, how this could be related to the upcoming stimulus package. But now if you move into the full uh, report which you can find on Business Wire, I'll put a link in the description to all the links you can see so uh, you can even look into it yourself if I butchered some pronunciation or you didn't understand something feel free to go through it on your own. Something what they didn't mention is that they also showed a fiscal year 2020 and now they did financial results. Therefore, we can see that their total revenues reach $895.7 million and full year deliveries were 10 to 27,041 vehicles and full year gross margin reached 4.6%. Their current market cap is $22.14 billion. So compared to the uh, 900 roughly 900 million revenue yearly revenue that's a lot of pe ratio however for growth stocks it's not anything unusual if we check out tesla stock we can see they have pe ratio of almost 1000 so it offers way better opportunity than tesla if you look at it from this point of view so now i'll try to just go through it and highlight some important parts from the whole uh, fiscal 2020 and audited financial results and the fourth quarter results so i'll just start straight from their financial highlights that uh, what i think is a good sign is that their p7 models delivered uh, in the fourth quarter 95% uh, of them can support the new X-Pilot version, which is good for the customers and good for their feedback, as well as the uh, increase of their stores and service centers, and as well as their uh, charging stations, 
which they have expanded and gathered more cities. So that's good to see that they are actually expanding and they are not like money laundering. And what you love to see is that the gross margin for the current quarter, the fourth quarter, was 17.4%. If you compare it with the previous year when it was negative 6.6%, their net loss decreased, which is a good sign. You would want to see their net, net loss decreasing so they can become profitable as soon as possible. As well as they have now a very, very strong cash position. If we have a look, they now have 5.4 billion dollars of cash on their balance sheet, which is great. It's almost fifth of their total market cap, which is not too shabby. And you know, it's good to see that they are well prepared for any possible upcoming crisis and that they will have the financials to fight it. And now to their financial highlights from fiscal year 2020. We can see that their total revenue increased by 150%, their deliveries of vehicles representing an increase of 112%, their gross margin was 4.6 for fiscal 2020, but compared with negative 24%, from the previous year, I see this as a big success and it really shows how the company can work their way up. Not to mention their net loss got lower by almost a third of their previous from 3,700 million RMB to 2,700 million RMB. So we can see they are seriously working their way up and I don't think they should be underrated. And I think that the current stock price is not very, you know, accurate at all. And if you didn't know or somehow don't know, there's going to be a new stimulus package Package and government will deliver it within a few days and it will be $1,400 stimulus check and it's quite a massive bill. If we scroll down why it's very important or related to XBank, well top democrats plan to fast track the nearly $2 trillion stimulus bill is on accelerated course after the senate vote to approve the Rona Rona relief package on Saturday. In fact leaders of the senate and house predict president Joe Biden will sign the Rona Rona relief bill into law before the week is over. Therefore, if now the market is bleeding, don't worry, it most likely will turn around by the end of this week, if not sooner. I think this is just a temporary correction, but I think people just forgot how the stock market works. Here, so you can see on the picture, usually the stock market has around 2 to 4 pullbacks each year. And as the time passes, the pullbacks are easier or not that big. I don't know if the if the government is like regulating it, but it's quite normal. It's quite casual to see big pullbacks on the market, and you should be prepared to it. Uh, I don't know if you are using stop losses or you just have to put it in your mind if you're a long-term investor that you know there's going to be ups and downs and that's the risk of the investing so if you cannot handle it please contact your nearest financial advisor and talk to him he will tell you what you what is more probably suits you the best with this current stimulus package coming into the into a pocket of all the US citizens or most of them the stock market could see some potential green days because you know with the latest with the previous stimulus package a lot and a lot of uh, citizens of United States actually pumped the market with this stimulus package and if we look at the X bank we can see their stock price is now at very 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 intriguing levels and it offers very lucrative opportunity in the long term in my opinion you know it's under $30 it's almost it's under $27 the price is almost the same as when it was IPO well I hope I brought you some value if I did definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new upcoming videos as well as smashing the like button really helps me out to get this video to as many people as possible possible. Also let me know down in the comments what do you think? Are you invested in Xbank, Neo or Tesla? Do you feel the bleed? Let me know. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.